How you folks doing today? Well, we out here on the farm because uh, my family owns a farm. My mom does anyway. I take care of it. So quick, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to be kind of a, maybe a longer video because I'm going to show you everything with my solar that I have going on out here. What is What, what happened was um, I had some problems at home about a year ago. Um, my mom wanted to uh, do some things here at the farm, yada, yada. We moved around some mobile homes. Um, I moved a, an, a, a really older one up to where this one's at now and was kind of working on it for a while. And anyway, everything's cool now. I went back home, but I'm still working on this one. This, this, this trailer, AKA mobile home, whatever you want to call it, it is a shithole. Okay. And it, it, it's just a shithole. So it's a work in progress, but it's not something I live in. It's over here at the farm where I do a lot of work. Regardless, you guys don't care, but I'm going to tell you there was, there was no power here. I mean, there was a way to get power. There was uh, lines here. But um, I got this trailer moved up here and hooked up my solar and decided just to not mess with power, especially since I don't live here. Um, I just come here and mess around, maybe spend the night, a couple nights, who knows. But anyway, here's how I have this running. Now, this, this is not 100% ran on solar, meaning there is no electricity here besides solar, but... Um, there's things I didn't figure out and didn't have time to figure out right now, like the, like the water heater, um, things like that. But, uh, my mom lives right down the road. So if I'm here, I can actually just go down to her place and take a shower or whatever if I need to, but I do have running water and all that here. Uh, I'm going to show you what I can. It's still really cold. I'm not going to fire my water back up. I kind of winterized some things. Um, so I wouldn't have busted water lines and all that and have to deal with. Luckily I'm a plumber, so I get to know what's going on there anyway so here's what i got going folks and there's shit everywhere look this is where i tore down the last trailer here look look at this old ghetto oh ghetto! i ain't even any build a porch this got moved here right before winter i put underpinning on it i mean it's just a complete shithole but it's pretty cool just i mean you know not to live in i mean i've i've stayed in it i've kind of lived in it but regardless these are my two, uh, I believe they're 150 or 160, I can't remember now, I've had them for a few years, uh, watt, 150 watt Renogy, they're 150s, they're not the 60s, but these are Renogy solar panels, uh, they're both the same, one of them is actually, I think I got refurbished, and I believe it works good, uh, it seems a little weird, but I think, I think everything's working okay, let me take you in my shed, this is the old power shed here, okay? Uh, and it's full of crap everywhere. All right. Right there is my Voyager. Um, uh, Renogy Voyager. I can't remember like a model number or anything. I actually have another um, uh, another charge controller that's like twice as expensive. I just hasn't, haven't had time to hook it up yet. This one still works. Um, it's just I realize this one is... Um, not MPPT, so, but I'm still getting enough juice for what I'm using out here. I've played with all kinds of, this little guy I played with, he worked. I burnt up this Cobra I used forever. I fried it. I don't know how. I think I think I hooked it up backwards, and it just fucking toasted the inside of it. Uh, regardless, uh, for temporarily, I got one of these Best Tech from Best Buy. I love this. This is awesome. Okay, it's a dirty signal. Um, it's it's a modified sine wave. It's not pure. Um, it takes uh, two um, power and grounds. Sorry, I'm trying to think also. From what I understand, you do have to have them hooked up. Um, over here, I got four gauge. Uh, these two are actually ones that came with it. Uh, this, I was running a lot of power off in this trailer. And it works great. I mean, it works great. It will go into protect if you try to push too much with it. Um, something inside, I'll show you what pushes a lot. Um, but this works awesome. This right now, I have it hooked up just for the light out here. That's a LED light, just to light my shed. Um, these are my eight 
Group, uh, I think they're bigger than Group 31s. These are interstates. You'd have to look back at my videos to see exactly what kind they are. I've had them for years. They're awesome. They're huge. And I have uh, bus bars and all that running on top of them. These clips, these come with the best tech. Um, but yeah, I've also, I've played with this. That guy works. That's pretty cool. Uh, I just have a lot of backup ones around here. Uh, I'll tell you what I did have going on in here. Uh, if you see there's wires going right down there. Those are nothing now. They're unhooked. But I actually wired into the... I took wires out of the electrical box inside the trailer, in which I will show you. Um, but I had actually a few circuits, meaning plug-in circuits, going down through the mobile home coming out here that I had wired, ran them out here, unhooked them from the electrical box, uh, tied them into some more wires, stretched them out here, and I had a bus bar, a breaker bar, whatever you want to call it, running out here to this best tech. This thing is awesome. Um, setting at 12.6 right now. I just got here, I don't know, uh, 15 minutes ago. This was full, of course, but um, I actually come here to run a battery charger which I know is weird, but I'm actually charging uh, my tractor battery because I need it started. So this also comes with three plug-ins. I'm telling you for the money, I love this. This is the Best Tech 2K. Um, I can't remember how much it was, but it was cheap, delivered from Best Buy. has all these fuses. I believe it comes with extra fuses. Highly suggest it. Um, and it's been sitting outside forever it's cold as shit in here um so yeah that's what i got going on with that i had things all plugged in up there i don't now because um i actually well i'll show you see my batteries it's outside the shed going outside <clears throat> let's go outside here i'll show you some stuff okay now you see here that's where i had the temporary wires actually had them had them like spliced in see that's undone because i unhooked them these are doing nothing these these are just laying out here now see these were going up under here to where the electric panel is in there in a closet which i will show you shortly but i went above and beyond and if you see there was a trench that i dug right there that actually has two two watt cables going through it. Two zero two watt cables of welding wire. It is wired into my batteries, and I'll take you inside right now and show you. Give me a second, so the video ain't stupid long and you guys ain't getting bored. But yeah. All right, welcome back. All right, look, it's a closet. In this little shitty room, broken window, bed I'm sitting on. Okay, here's the electrical box. As you see, there is nothing running on top of it. Nothing. There's there's no power going to this box. No power. Nothing. You see, I touch everything. I would never do that. Uh, I can show you outside if you don't totally believe me, which I probably will. But I actually ripped out those cords because I didn't need them. What I did was I figured out... Uh, sorry, it's hard sitting on this bed doing this. I apologize. I'm trying to keep this as steady as possible. These going in here are going to other circuits that I didn't need. Uh, one goes to the kitchen. I did not run the kitchen. I don't have a refrigerator here running. I don't have that much power. And I even tried a mini fridge. with still too much. Still, still too much. So these are doing nothing right now. But these, these are, and as you see right down here, I have one circuit actually tied right into my inverter. Okay, now this inverter. As you see, there's two. Same collar, one's power, one's ground. It was cheaper to get one collar. That is a two-watt welding wire running down and out through that trench I just showed you. This is an Eastwood Pure Sine Wave 3000 watt inverter. Love it. Love this inverter. Okay, I've actually put it a little bit to the test. 
it will still kick in and protect when I run one thing if I don't have full, full power. And I'll show you what that is here in a second. Uh, regardless, you get this off of eastwood.com. They have 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000 watt inverters. The 3,000 watt one has these badass hookups on the side over here. And this is you directly wire into it um, from a circuit. That is actually, that's probably going to my bedroom here. Um, but it's wired right in. I have a plug down here, okay? It's not plugged in for a reason. I'll show you what that is here in a second. Um, it's all messy. I don't have it all cleaned up, so calm down on that. Um, I also have, uh, this is a, uh, protected GE circuit. It's pretty badass. If you see here, I took the old wires, see they're oldest crap wires here, out of the electrical panel. So I unhooked them from in here, brought them back down out of there, and I actually wired them into plugs. You know, these are just plugs you buy at the hardware store or whatever. Um, there's better ones that are easier to hook up. These yellow ones back here i like a lot better they're a lot easier to hook up but power ground and you're neutral you know pretty simple um on these and you just hook them right into the breaker bar there and that is where do i have that plugged in dude i got it plugged in on there somewhere uh all right uh, regardless so that's how i'm I'm doing this without running all new wire through the home. Um, these are existing wires that go to other ones. Okay. Now, uh, uh, also, to show you how to turn this on. See? Got light there. Show you how to turn this on. This comes with a... I don't remember how long this cord is. 10 foot, something like that. That's a power switch. I'm not going to flip it off right now because I have a battery charger running outside. Yeah, I like Beck's beer. Uh, battery charger running outside, um, powering my tractor battery right now. So I don't want to interfere with that. But that simple hit of a button turns it off and on. It's pretty awesome. You can mount it anywhere, but for temporarily, I just got it running through the little closet and up here on this little shitty bed. <sighs> Which mice probably live in now. Sure they do. They're probably under the blankets here somewhere. This place is a shithole. Fuck you guys if you don't like it. It's I don't live here. I'm working on it. Yeah. Okay. You see there's a tarp here. There's a reason. Okay. Now I had to get water. Right? I have a whole water system running here. This right here is a Harbor Freight um, jet pump. Okay. I'm try to back up here so I could... This guy right here... When he kicks on, when it kicks on, he, when it kicks on, it pulls a lot of juice. Okay. So if this, you know, runs, flush the toilet, it'll, it'll run like twice to fill the toilet back up. Um, if I go right in and flush the toilet again, and it's kind of cloudy day, this will actually put my inverter into protect. Okay. But all I have to do is come in here and shut my inverter off, turn my inverter back on and it'll pump it. Um, but I, I, it, it takes a lot of juice. This isn't, uh, I wouldn't call this the, um, opportune. That's the word I can think of right now. Opportune thing to have here. I need something more like, uh, what's in maybe a, uh, a camper RV, something that doesn't draw as much juice when it sucks water. Okay. And I didn't want to pipe into the existing piping here just yet. I actually, I am piped into it, but I have it shut off. Okay. So, this is a check valve. I actually piped this up. I have it running over to a shutoff. This is on right now, but this, this is currently off. That is a primer hole. Um, that's open because it got cold in here, and uh, the water expands, and I don't want it to blow out my seals, so it kind of just blows out there. A little bit did. Um, but I have it running up here. I'll show you what's running from here in a second. This is a power switch. This actually comes with just a plug-in that is what that plug-in is over there I have it running up i have it running to a filter it's a normal whole house filter i have it running down and i have that shut off because that goes to the rest of this trailer which i don't need right now i ran a separate line over through and to the bathroom sink and toilet 
Okay, so I have running water there. I cannot show you right now. I'm sorry, it's too cold. I have to wait till it warms up um, to turn all this back on and get it all primed and everything because I don't want this to freeze and bust. It's cheap, but uh, I don't remember what I paid for it, but it wasn't free, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'll show you, let's see, oh, the water system. All right, got the old wood room here. I got shit everywhere. I got to remember to bring these back, so I got them out here. My water system, okay, here's how it works. This right here is an old wood room. It's got the wood stove in it. I actually built a room with uh, my buddy Clark. I brought in this water tank that I bought, full water, surrounded it, tried to keep it warm. Um, that's what I thought I was going to be here all the time forever. What I have going is <laughs> have some jelly there from when I did stay here. That's probably no good anymore. That's coming from outside from a gutter I put on this room, okay? That is rainwater that I catch, runs down in here, fills this up, and when this is full and overflows, I have it where it runs down there, there, and out, okay? And to do that, what? It's freaking raining. You gotta be kidding me. There's what I did. That goes right in there to my water tank. Ghetto, I know. And right there's my overflow. So, yeah. And I have lights, switches as long as I have that on. Light. I have a leak right there I gotta find. Um, I need to turn this light off. Um, yes, I can run a TV. I've ran a TV in here, Xbox, all that. But you do have to be very conscious or subcon, whatever you call it. Very careful. Oh, it's sleeting. Never mind. Thanks, Winter. Glad to have you back. Not bad enough we got a virus going around. Now it's winter. Like I said... I got guys coming tomorrow to fix a tractor tire. Got my battery charger running. I got batteries running through AC, DC going to AC back to DC. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm sure there's more I can show you. This is what I've learned. I've learned this. Uh... Dang it! Still got still got the light on. Sorry. I just kind of learned this stuff on my own, watching YouTube and just thinking about it. Of course, I know a little bit about electricity, and it helps that i am been big in the car audio for, I don't know, 17 years or more. So that helps with hooking up batteries and already having the common sense to do all that and know how to run all that. But this has been kind of a more of a fun little project. Oh, great, somebody's here. Why is there always somebody here? Oh, they're turning around. Nice. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, I'll show you when it gets a little warmer on um, how my water system works and all that. Sorry, this video is really long, but I didn't want to cut it all into parts. Plus, I'm here at the farm today. I might not be back for a little while with this virus going on. We might get locked down. Who knows? But I'm not here by myself, so social distancing. But um trying to think of this. There's probably more important stuff for me to tell you. Um, oh, my other, um, dang it, my other energy thing I didn't show you. I'll show you later. But any questions, feel free to ask. Any comments, uh, advice, I would love them. Sat, Sat, my man. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, my man, uh, I think it was Sat Benson. I think that's the last name. I don't know why. I always just remember Sat. He has some awesome things going on with solar power right now. Um, he's got a washing machine he bought that especially works, I think, with solar power, low energy. That is awesome. I want to know how all that works. Um, I've been watching him. Anybody with any other solar advice, cool tips, tricks, um, feel free to tell me. Show me your video. Tell me your channel. I like watching solar power stuff off grid. Don't give a crap about being on grid. I want to be off the grid. So you guys have a 
awesome day. Stay safe. Uh, stay away from this virus. You know, figure out how to fa have fun yourself and stay out of this crappy. Uh, you notice I edited myself. Crappy weather. See you guys. Have a good day. I love you.